What is going on guys? Grave here today. I kind of like to talk about, well, it's the same thing we always talk about here on the channel when it comes to Red Dead Online. And that's kind of, we need updates and not just dis discounts. Uh, that, that's kind of the feeling I think a lot of you that watch the videos have the same kind of feeling that I do. That week in and week out now, if, if we do get an update, it's just discounts. It's nothing that is, you know, game changing, nothing that is fixing the game, nothing that is improving the game. And like I said, I, th I think a lot of the people that uh, watch the videos, a lot of you guys out there uh, feel the same way. And I know it always seems like a broken record because I even feel like a broken record. I'm like, I'm not sure why I even make the video <laughs> at, at times because I feel like I'm just saying the same thing. But like I said, overall, I think a lot of you that watch the videos like to discuss these type of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Uh, yesterday, once again, was kind of another disappointing Tuesday. Uh, we got a lot of discounts, which is great for new players. Uh, discounts are also great for players that, uh, you know, uh, like I said, are still ranking up certain roles, players that are still just getting into the game. But when it comes to players like myself, a lot of you out there that have played since the beta or around the beta time, it's getting to the point now where we all just kind of like, wow, um, is there even need? Is there even any need to kind of log on and play this week? I think a lot of people, once they completed the outlaw play, uh, outlaw pass, just kind of stepped away from the game. The outlaw pass is out for so long now, you can complete it pretty quickly. If you do play a lot, you can complete it in a day or two. Uh, and then you just kind of step away for months. That is disappointing uh, to me. Uh, I think that hurts the community. I think that it's it may bring some people back when the next outlaw pass is released. It also may just not bring people back at all. And I know there has been an influx in players in the game since the you know the online mode is now very cheap to purchase in the PlayStation Store, or Xbox Store, you know, uh, PC Store, whatever the case you're whatever the case is that you play on that you're buying it from. You can buy the online version for very cheap. But overall, I think a lot of people look at the updates that GTA gets and or GTA Online gets, and, and they're just really disappointed with what is kind of uh, happening in Red Dead Online. I did have one interesting comment the other day uh, when I did make my update video, or yesterday when I made my you know kind of weekly update video. In that video, I said I, I would have kind of assumed by now that the other roles would have already been updated. I figured that was going to be a thing that was going to be you know kind of a quick uh, kind of update idea that they were going to do. The bounty hunter then go on to the other roles in game. And one person commented and said that may just be what uh, um, kind of the updates are this year, the big updates. And that may be the case. It's going to be kind of disappointing if we get two major updates this year. And let's just say, for example, that it updates the trader role to, you know, go up to kind of like they did with the, the, the um, bounty hunter, just added more levels to it. And maybe like the moonshine role or the collector role, whatever the case may be. If that's the only two big updates we get this year where it's just adding, you know, more things to those existing roles, I really do think people are not going to be happy with what Red Dead Online is kind of turning into. I know Rockstar wants to make money. I know they want to sell gold bars, all that kind of good stuff. But at the same time, I think you, we need quality content. And I've said a lot of times now that week in and week out, they can do these discount things. They can do all of this stuff. But just add some small things in there. If they added some new stranger missions, if they added some new things to do, some quality of life improvements with these weekly, you know, just discount updates, I think the community would be a lot happier and I think people will continue to play more uh, than they do right now. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.